now let us discuss about the similarities and differences between multi programming with fixed size partition and multi programming with variable size partition we know that these two are contiguous memory allocation techniques these two concepts comes under memory management of operating system multi programming with fixed size partition in short this can be called as mft multi programming with fixed size t stands for task so task is nothing but partition whereas multi programming with variable size partition in short we can call as mvt multi programming with variable size t stands for task task is nothing but a partition which is used for storing the process so totally we have 10 points are there now let us see all the 10 points one by one so the first one is it is also called as static partition technique so multi programming with fixed size partition means it is a static partition technique why because here the number of partitions as well as size of each partition that will be decided during the computer the system manufacturing time configuration time so all the partitions will be decided at the time only so that's why it is called as static partition technique whereas this is a dynamic partition technique so here the main memory is simply empty so if we have five processes then memory will be allocated for those five processes dynamically suppose if we have 30 processes then memory will be allocated for all those 30 processes so that's why it is called as dynamic partition technique so that means according to the size of the process the operating system allocates memory for the process but here all the partitions are static all the partitions are fixed next point it is a contiguous memory allocation technique this is also a contiguous memory allocation technique so contiguous memory allocation technique means a single block of memory will be allocated for the process let the size of your process is 10 mb so a single 10 mb of the block a single 10 mb of the block will be allocated to the process whereas if you take non contiguous memory allocation techniques like pacing and segmentation then whenever we have a free space then we can store the process in that free space let that 10 mb is available at five locations so five different locations so we can store the process in all the five different locations but here these two are contiguous memory allocation techniques a single contiguous block of memory will be allocated for the process next to do, next to point multiple programs can be stored in the main memory here also multiple programs can be stored in the memory so the first word is multi programming so multi programming means we can store multiple programs inside the main memory so that cpu can execute all the programs all the processes simultaneously so next point uh, that is regarding the number of partitions multi programming with fixed size partition whereas here we have variable size partition so the name itself specifies the meaning the number of partitions are fixed here so let's see that point number of partitions are fixed in this technique so during system manufacturing time during system configuration time only the partitions will be fixed so if they did five partitions then we can store only five processes in the corresponding partitions if we have 10 partitions then it is not possible to store i'm sorry if we have 10 processes then it is not possible to store all the 10 processes in the five partitions simultaneously so that is the meaning here 
number of partitions are fixed here whereas here number of partitions vary in size so if you have 10 processes then we will have 10 partitions if you have 3 processes then we will have 3 partitions so the number of partitions depends upon the number of processes so next point number of partitions and size of the partition will be decided during system configuration time or system manufacturing time or system generation time so how many partitions we have what is the size of the each partition that should be decided during system configuration time system uh, design time system manufacturing time only but here it uses dynamic allocation technique dynamic storage technique so the number of partition as well as size of the partition depends upon the process depends upon the list of processes that we have so next point internal fragmentation occurs here the problem is uh, uh, the number of the number of partitions are fixed so let this partition size is 5 mb whereas let our process is 3 mb only then uh, if we store the 3 mb of the process here then what will happen here this partition size is 5 mb but the process size is 3 mb let us assume that name of the process is p1 if we store 3 mb of p1 in this partition then 2 mb of the memory will be wasted we can't store another process in this free partition that is not possible here so this problem is called as internal fragmentation so internal fragmentation means there is a wastage of space in the corresponding fragment fragment means partition this can also be called as fragment or partition or hole everything is same only so there is a wastage of space in the fragment so that's why it is called as internal fragmentation whereas here there is no internal fragmentation why because here what we are doing according to the size of the process operating system is allocating memory for the process let the process size is 5 mb then what the operating system will do operating system allocates 5 mb for that process so there is no wastage of memory internally here so there is no internal fragmentation uh, next no there is no internal fragmentation next point limitation on number of processes so during the system configuration time only it will be decided so let us assume that here we have three partitions then operating system can store only three processes in the corresponding three partitions so that is the point here limitations on number of processes so that will be decided during system configuration time only but here no limitation on number of processes if you have 20 processes then if the size of the main memory permits then we can store all the 20 processes in the main memory so there is no limitation on number of processes so next point limitation on size of a process limitation on size of a process so let us assume that here we have three partitions where the first two partition size is 5 mb next two partition size is 2 mb next two partition size is 100 mb let we have a process whose size is 500 mb let we have a process whose size is 500 mb so now it is not possible to store 500 mb of that process in any partition so that is the problem here limitation on size of your process so we can't accommodate this process here but why because here all these partitions are decided during system configuration time only whereas here there is no limitation on size of your process so if a process size is 500 mb then if the main memory size permits then operating system can allocate 500 mem 500 mb of the space for that process there is no problem here next one external fragmentation occurs so here we will have external fragmentation here also here also in this technique also we have external fragmentation but we can solve that problem using compaction so what is external fragmentation external fragmentation means even though there is a free space available in the main memory but the operating system can't allocate 
that memory to the process because those locations are non contiguous so let us take a scenario let we have 2 mb of free space is available here and next we have uh, some more process is there uh, let uh, let here we have uh, 5 mb p uh, 5 mb free partition is there let we have one more process one more process is accommodated here so here this 2 mb is a free partition this 5 mb is a free partition let us assume that now we have to store a process whose size is 6 mb actually here we have two partitions two free partitions this partition size is 2 mb this partition size is 5 mb what is the sum of 2 and 5 7 so that means here free space is available here but operating system can't allocate this phrase this free space to that process why because here the memory locations are non contiguous here this 2 mb is uh, uh, we have this 2 mb at one set of locations and we have this 5 mb at another set of locations these locations are non contiguous so that is the problem here okay so we can here also we will get the external fragmentation but we can solve that problem using a technique called compaction compaction means combining adding these two partitions and making them as a new partition so 2 plus 5 means 7 mb so we can combine uh, those two and we can make 7 mb as a new partition okay and the last uh, last point is uh, this technique is easy to implement so it is not our responsibility uh, so here what will happen it is internally implemented uh, at uh, operating system designing only okay whereas uh, this is difficult to implement this technique why because here this is nothing but uh, dynamic memory allocation technique so for the system manufacturers for the system designers this system is uh, somewhat difficult to implement whereas this is very very easy to implement why because the system designer knows the number of partitions and size of the partition but here the system designer doesn't know about the requirement of a process so that's why it is difficult to implement this approach so this is about uh, uh, multi programming with fixed size partition versus multi programming with uh, variable size partition